The services in system service comprise of following categories. Firstly, they could be microcontroller dependent services such as OS, timer service, etc. They could also be partly ECU hardware dependent such as ECU state manager. And last After getting an understanding on offboard communication service of service layer, now let's have a look into memory service of service layer. Memory service provides non-volatile data to application in an uniform way. Service provides abstraction from memory location and properties. Memory service consists of only one module, that's NVRAM manager. The NVRAM manager is responsible for management of non-volatile data, provides mechanism to read or write data to or from different memory drivers, also provides mechanism to calculate and evaluate checksums, ensures reliability of storage, etc. Services in memory service are highly configurable and provides independence from microcontroller and ECU hardware. So that was a brief on memory services. Let's now look into the last service of service layer, that system services. System services are a group of modules and functions which can be used by modules of all layers. For example, real-time operating system, which includes timer services and error manager, etc. The services in system service comprise of following categories. Firstly, they could be microcontroller dependent services such as OS, timer service, etc. They could also be partly ECU hardware dependent such as ECU state manager. And lastly, they could also be both hardware and microcontroller independent such as diagnostic event manager. Following are some of the modules present in system services. Firstly, the basic software mode manager, BSWM. The basic software mode manager performs two main functionalities. That's mode control and mode arbitration. While performing the mode control, the basic software mode manager performs the mode switches by execution of action lists containing mode switch operation of other BSW modules. While performing mode arbitration, the basic software mode manager initiates mode switches resulting from rule-based arbitration of mode requests and mode indications received from software components or other software modules. Let's look into the next service which is communication manager service. Autosar communication manager service provides services for network and protocol independent communication between applications. The communication manager in general provides services to communication between applications, communication between classic and adaptive platform, and lastly configuration of midware for communication aspects such as the register services, etc. Then we have the watchdog manager service. At a high level, the watchdog manager performs supervision of software modules or supervised entities. The supervised entities are supervised by supervision functions which can be categorized as alive supervision, deadline supervision, logical supervision. Alive supervision is a category of function that performs supervision of timing of periodic software whereas the deadline supervision is a category of function that performs supervision of timing of non-periodic software. And lastly, the logical supervision provides supervision of correctness of the execution sequence. So let's look into the next service, which is the time service. This module provides services for time-based functionalities. The use case are time measurement, time-based state machine, timeout supervision, busy waiting period tracker, etc. 
Next we have synchronized time based manager. The purpose of the synchronized time based manager is to provide synchronized time base to its customers. That is time bases which are synchronized with the time bases on other nodes of the distributed system. Two main use cases are firstly the synchronization of runnable entities that is to ensure that all the runnable entities connected with the system are executed synchronously. Secondly, provisioning of absolute and relative time value which implies that the application and other VSW modules shall provide a central module that is responsible for the provisioning of information about the absolute time and passage of time. Then we have default error tracer also called as DET. The default error tracer provides functionality to support error detection and tracing of errors during development and runtime of software components and other basic software modules. For this purpose, the default error tracer receives and evaluates error messages from these components and modules. Next, we have Functional Inhibition Manager. The Functional Inhibition Manager allows querying the permission or inhibition status of software components and functionality therein. In the FIM context, an FID, which is Functional Identifier, identifies an application functionality along with the inhibition conditions from that particular identifier. The functionalities poll for permission state of their FIDs before execution. If an inhibition condition applies for a particular identifier, the corresponding functionality is not allowed to be executed anymore. By means of FIM, that is Functional Inhibition Manager, the inhibition of these functionalities can be configured and even modified by calibration. Then we have Diagnostic Event Manager. The Diagnostic Event Manager, also called as DEM, handles and stores the events detected by diagnostic monitors in both software components and basic software modules. The stored event information is available via an interface to other BSW modules or software components. Then we have ECU State Manager. The ECU State Manager module is a basic software module that manages common aspect of ECU states. Specifically, the ECU Manager module initializes and deinitializes the OS, Schedule Manager, and the basic software module, as well as some basic software driver modules. It also configures the ECU for sleep and shutdown when requested. And lastly, it manages all the wake up events on the ECU. And lastly, we have the Autosar OS. The core functionality of Autosar OS shall be based on the OSAC OS. The OSAC OS is an event triggered operating system. This provides high flexibility in the design and maintenance of Autosar based systems. The event trigger gives freedom for selection of event to drive scheduling at runtime. For example, angular rotation, local time source, global time source, error occurrence, etc. With this, we have covered a brief on memory service and system service of service layer. Thank you.